car here. In Power BI, we're going to be learning to scatter plot. So to do that, we want to go to our visualization. We want to click on scatter plot and add that to our report view. I'm just going to expand this down. So in our scatter plot, only thing we're going to be adding values to are the x axis, y axis, legend size, and the play axis. So first things first, let's go ahead and do x axis. So we're going to add the profit. Then for our, our y axis, I'm going to add the quantity. For our legend, I want the product category. And for our size, I want the sales. And then for our play axis, this is where you want to go ahead and add the date. So now we have built a scatter plot. But before we do that, let's point out a few things. So I'm just going to back out the date. So in the scatter plot, as you can see, it basically goes by the largest quantity is usually going to be on the upper right, where the smallest quantities will be on your lower left. And how this works is once you put the date into the play axis, this scatter plot is going to start basically giving you indications of what was being sold. So it says sum of profit, sum of quantity, and sum of sales by the product category. This is basically going to show us the sum of all those things on each day. So on November the 13th, 2002, we it's clear that on that day, there were food and spices being sold. And what food and spices? Um, we profited $23, we sold six, and the sales was $28.72. So boom. And so now you can see this basically playing out for each day, just going all the way down to the last day. It started at the, the earliest day, which was in 2018, and it's basically gonna play to the latest day. And right here is a way that we can kind of drag this play axis over to see what those sales look like. As you can see, things kind of stay consistent for a little while from, spoon, from, the, from the food and spices standpoint. And then as the years went on, it kind of stayed right in that range, that profit range, and then boom. So that is basically a scatter plot. So what, what, what kind of things can we do to format this? So again, I'm gonna go ahead and take out date just so we can look at some different format tools. So we can format our X axis and we can also format our Y axis, basically changing the values, increasing the size, changing the color, and we can also take away our legend or keep our legend there. Other things we can do is reposition our legend to the top left or to the center. We can also increase the text and change the font of that legend. Other things we can do, we can do a zoom slider. So we can turn this on. Now we have these zoom sliders and we can go ahead and turn these off. We also have markers. So to do this, we can basically these circles here will change into different shapes so we can change this into a square we can also change this to a diamond and we can change this to a triangle x there are other shapes as well so feel free to play around with that we'll just change it back to a dot for now you can also change the size so if you come here and you can do a color border or you change the size of that bubble and you can increase the size or decrease the size, just depending on whatever your desire is. You can also come here and change these colors as well. So if I wanted to change this to anything else, I can do that. I'll just change it there. Next thing we can do here is we can do a category label. We can just turn the category labels on. So now we have category labels. So while we're doing our play axis, we can basically see what those things are as they play across. Now I'll go back here and put the date back in there and let that play across with all our new formatted features added. And now you should know how to create a scatter plot in Power BI.